Hello viewers, welcome back. Today we continue with free energy research. This time I prepared for you a Samir power generation device. This image on my right side, it looks amazing. I bet it is. So uh, let's see what he did. Yeah? So, but before I start describing, I would like to say that uh, there is a donation button connected to PayPal on my front page. So feel free if you, have, uh, if you uh, cherish my work uh, send me a donation, it, it will motivate me even more to continue this work. So, with further ado, I present you Pesemir Power Generation Device. Alright viewers, so this is the Pesemir Power Generation Device. Look at this, this is something different from other things I created until now. So let's start from the beginning, yeah? Alright, so the most important thing in, in this complete power generation device uh, which generates uh, power uh, based on the gravitational pull it's in this chamber yeah? so this is the vacuum chamber so everything inside will be in vacuum yeah? so that it does not have air resistance so it will help in rotation so let me hide now the uh, vacuum chamber and let's see what we have inside all right so, there are not too many components here, as you can see. We have, we can start with these two flywheels. So, this over here and this over here will be our primary flywheels, which will generate, which will spin on this main shaft over here. Yeah? So, these two flywheels will spin on the main shaft over here and they will con uh, rotate by themselves on their shafts yeah? over here. Yeah? So, that's, that's, that's a bearing. Yeah? And how will this work, strangely? You can see that uh, from this side, we can see that we have at these flywheels a point load. This red dot is a point load and on the right uh, flywheel, it's on the outside part of the flywheel and on the left flywheel is on the inner side of the flywheel. Yeah? So that's how the, let's say, point of mass or weight is spread. It, yeah? So that's how uh, inventor design it and these uh, flywheels will consist of will be made of out of let's say uh, carbon fiber or very light material and the point load uh, these red dots will be designed from maybe some uh, let's say uh, material from uh, higher weight yeah? so steel or maybe even uh, some something which is more weight which has more weight. So this is the uh, flywheels, center flywheels, and they will of course rotate in the va vacuum chamber. So, so generally we do not expect the resistance from the air. Uh, what else is here uh, noted in the pattern that this, uh, these bearings will be uh, the best possible bearings so that the friction, friction of the system is really minimum. Yeah? So that's uh, so only how we can uh, design this to work is that we have uh, perfect, uh, near perfection uh, bearings, yeah? and also that this, uh, let's say, these gears are also uh, the best they can be. Yeah? So that's the second, uh, I think, necessity for this to work. And then what? Yeah? So logically, uh, so these two these two flywheels will spin here on this shaft. So if I can maybe even rotate this, it could it could work maybe. Yeah. No, it's a it's a wrong axis. Sorry, it will spin uh, in the in this way on this shaft. Yeah, so I cannot select it in this way. But nevertheless, so uh, so basically, these flywheels will spin on on this shaft. Yeah, together, and they will rotate also together. Uh, uh, what are these two things? Uh, this will be the main output shaft. Yeah? On this side and on the other, on the other side as well, will be our main output shafts. Yeah? And um, here will we get free energy. And uh, last thing uh, here to mention uh, is uh, not last, but let's see inside of this. Uh, so these are called damping flywheels. So if I uh, isolate this, you will see that there is also a central shaft yeah? and this outside it's a, let's say, point of mass as it's described in the pattern. So, 
and um, in, the, in this uh, free area in, in the middle should be some, some kind of a fluid, maybe oil or I don't know, yeah? so it's not written in the patent. But generally inside would be the fluid, this will be our the main shaft and this will be the point uh, external uh, load, let's say it like this. Yeah? And high, yeah? So this, sorry, to hide again the va vacuum chamber. Uh, so we are left here. And this is really strange that this would work. Yeah, I also doubt this. Please, I encourage everybody to read the patent. It's down in the description below to understand in more detail. Yeah? Because I don't have so much technical knowledge in English to remember everything from the patent. Uh, so please read and you will understand it much better. Last thing in this, uh, let's say, uh, power generation device are these red dots or red supports which will be electronically controlled. Yeah? So this will go uh, like, um, uh, this will go up and down and controlled by this, let's say, red uh, mechanism. Yeah? This red mechanism will be connected uh, to some uh, digital controller and then uh, it will hold uh, horizontal, it will align horizontal uh, that everything is in horizontal. Yeah? So that's it's needed uh, uh, per the patent description. When probably when this spins, the center of mass does uh, changes, and then this uh, point uh, loads or this uh, this mechanism will somehow um, be level. Uh, it's used for leveling of this uh, plate and all the all the things on the on the generator or on the power generation device. And basically this is it, yeah? I cannot explain, explain any more than I already did because it's very complicated and yet patent description is not that detailed but this is the general idea. So this is the, uh, the device which works in, by the gravitational pull and its, its mechanism, primary mechanism is situated in the vacuum chamber so that we uh, avoid um, uh, air resistance and all these bearings should be near perfect as possible. Yeah. And that's basically it. So thank you viewers, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this magnificent patent and um, just stay tuned on my channel. There, there is more to come. Bye bye.